Hello, everybody. I'd like to welcome you back to the Houston Fishing Show here in Houston, Texas. The last time we spoke, we was in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and we talked to a lot of different hunting outfitters and stuff. Today's a little different. Today, I'm sitting here with a man named Will. Will, you've got Avian Skies. Yes. Tell me a little bit about Avian Skies. Avian Skies was started in 2011 um, as a way to diversify Texas wing shooting. We started out offering uh, dove hunts and teal hunts, and we expanded into offering uh, ducks, geese, and sandhill crane hunts. Um, uh, waterfowl guiding before then, since 2001, decided to start my own business. So we took that family-based business, you know, our family-based business, we took that leap, um, and we started, and haven't looked back since. Um, during that time, I was doing a lot of competition calling, I won the World St. Hill Crane Calling Contest. I also won the Texas State Speckle Belly Calling Contest and the Texas State Snow Goose Calling Competition. Very impressive. Thank you. So we uh, we started out, like I said, doing doves, dove hunts, teal hunts, um, and just grew from there. So we uh, we also realized that you know we like certain products, and like most outdoorsmen, necessity is, a, is the mother of invention. So we rolled in, we found out that we needed our own duck call. So we, uh, we took aspects of our duck calls that we liked and we took aspects of our goose calls that we liked and we incorporated the two. Uh, and we came up with this barrel design. Uh, then we have a double reed echo insert that we use. Uh, we like the double reeds because we're able to get loud uh, when we're hunting open water, but when you're in timber, you can make it soften the sound up a whole lot. We prefer a wood barrel over the acrylics because it, the way the sound travels out of the uh, through the barrel creates a, a better sound than, than a poly or a harder acrylic sound that's a lot louder. So we came up with these, started, we, we came up with this design, we contracted out with the company that they built the calls for us and manufacture them for us and so we have we've been using them and, and it kind of started out as we needed this started using this it became kind of a promotional product uh, which just evolved into hey this really does work we use these products and this that's what we started using then we moved into our waterfowl hunting and have a good back now, on these calls that you've got here mm -hmm. did you win any of these competitions using these calls or these calls we have not competition called with. Uh, those are, are goose calls uh, that we were sponsored by somebody that I was sponsored by somebody that I use those calls. However, Echo uh, is a which is the insert is a high end quality call that a lot of a lot of people do very well with in competition. Is that applicable for like wood ducks and stuff as well? Or? Yeah, I mean it's a mallard hen call, so you're going to be you know. Everything responds to a mallard hen. Uh, pintails, gadwall, uh, those birds respond to teal, those birds respond to that type of call. That's what we have down here on the coast. We actually don't have very many mallards at all down here. Now further up, you get inland uh, and up on the rivers and that sort of stuff, there are mallards in Texas. Oh, but, yeah, but most of them are, yeah, most of, most of the ducks we get down here are gadwalls. And gadwalls, uh, they don't have a, distinct quack but they do make a quacking sound so they respond well to that then the teal they have a higher pitched quack so we tune the call so they're a little bit higher pitched to accommodate that so it's it's a good diverse call we i have one on my lanyard all year long starting at the beginning of teal and till the end of the season and kill birds with it that's awesome now i noticed besides just the calls you also offer hunting services for these birds as well yes we do yes sir we do Starting in September, the teal migrate down out of uh, the central from the central flyway, starting out of the prairie pothole region. They come down, they stop over on the rice belt of Texas, uh, which is right where we're located. Edna is 100 miles south of Houston, right in the middle of the rice belt. Uh, we have hundreds of acres, thousands of acres of rice fields that we hunt, and all those fields during that time hold water. Uh, most of the time, they've been combined once already. Uh, then they reflood them. So there's open water, plenty of food available, catches the birds, it holds the birds, they lay over, then they move on back in the next. 
And as season progresses, different types of birds from migratory come through, I'm sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, shortly after the teal migrate through, we start to get our, our big ducks. They start to migrate, what we call big ducks, which are our pintails and gadwalls, uh, redheads, bluebills, those ducks migrate down to the Texas coast during that time. They migrate fairly early. They're coming out of, here again out of the southern high, high plains uh, region, come into Texas coast and settle in. And so we start hunting ducks in November. First weekend in November is when our duck season typically starts. Well, when it's not hunting season and you ain't in the woods shooting birds and calling birds, what, what, else you, what else you doing? Well, the rest of the year starting in the end of February, uh, first part of March, we start running saltwater fishing trips. We, Yes, sir. We fish for speckled trout and redfish starting then. And we fish for speckled trout and redfish on the flats in and around Port O'Connor. Uh, we'll fish for those fish all the way up through November, uh, first part of December. And that's, that's a really good trip. Uh, where, where we're at, it's five trout, three redfish. So, you know, you get a boat boat full of folks and they can go catch a mess of fish and it's a lot of fun we're fishing shallow water we're fishing backcountry deep marsh and that is um, it, it's a unique experience because those redfish get real shallow you can throw top waters at them and they'll eat that you can if you're a novice fisherman we can fish with shrimp and a popping cord you know if the kids just want to go and catch fish you know, we'll do that set up. We'll do a lot of drift fishing. If you've got, if you're a hardcore fisherman and you want to go target a trophy speckled trout or a big old redfish, or you want to fish for just a tailing redfish, we can do that. We'll wait fish. We'll get out of the boat and we'll do some wait fishing. Tailor your fishing trip according to like what you want. That's yes, you want absolutely, to absolutely. Now, I've, I've been fishing down there my whole life, and and there's not much that I don't know how to fish for, uh, especially in the summertime. We'll fish for a lot of sharks. The sharks migrate into yes, sir. The sharks will migrate into the bay starting in the middle of May and the first part of June. Uh, it starts out with the black tits and then the bull sharks come in shortly behind them. Uh, they're spawning that time of year, so starting in June, July, especially August and September. You know, when it's so hot, you feel like your skin's going to melt off you. Yeah. That's when you need to be catching a big fish. Um, that's in our tarpon start migrating in in August. So August and September is big tarpon months. So we'll set up, we'll troll for those. Uh, we never lose sight of land. We're not going offshore. We're not going 20, 30, 50 miles offshore. We still stay shore. Yeah, right? we're within 35 feet of water. We're within sight of land, you know. So if you get motion sickness, that really helps out, yeah. you know, because you can see the shore. Um, you know, and we're fishing in the bays. If it's real rough, we'll just run inside and fish in the bays. We're fishing in a 27-foot boat nine feet wide it's wide it's big it's comfortable you know you have room to relax you have room to stay comfortable dry you know it, it, it's a good situation a lot of fun well it sounds like you've got a little bit of something for all seasons we do and yes, for sir. every type of outdoorsman there is i mean from calling in birds to shooting birds to catching sharks right there offshore i mean sounds like you've got a lot, a lot going on yes this sir yeah. well we thank you for your time yes today. sir thank you appreciate Thanks it for yes sir as always, folks, regardless of what you're doing outside, remember to do it safely. Take pride in what you do. Until we meet again, this is Jesse with GOSN.